Good morning and welcome to worship. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. Special welcome to Bernadette for joining us today mm -hmm. for the first time. We are delighted you are with us. And a special welcome to those of you joining us on Facebook or who will be watching us on YouTube later. As we gather this morning, may the Spirit of the Lord work within us. As we gather, may we glorify the Lord. And as our hearts begin to worship, may we be blessed because we can. If you are able, I invite you to stand. Otherwise, you may, you may remain seated as you are comfortable. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His, His mercy endures forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us humble ourselves and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins so that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. <coughs> Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, come Holy Spirit, Spirit come. come. Spirit, come, fill us to overflowing. Be our guide, Holy Spirit, come. Spirit, show us your power. Be our teacher, Holy Spirit, Lead us into all truth. Come. come. Spirit, be our healer. Heal, Heal us, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Come. Come, Holy Spirit. Heal, Heal us and make us, us whole. The Lord be with you. And Amen. also with you. Let us pray. O God of peace, you have told us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord our God, you sustained your ancient people in the wilderness with bread from heaven. Feed now your pilgrim flock with the food that endures to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of Scripture. I invite anyone who wishes to come read. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I have answered you. On a day of salvation I have helped you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people, to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways, on all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. And I will turn all my mountains into a road, and my highways shall be raised up. Lo, these shall come from far away, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Syene. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing.
For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child or show no compassion for the child of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. We recite together in unison the portion of Psalm 145 as printed in our bulletin. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone, and his compassion is over all his works. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom and seek your power, so that the peoples may know your power and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is faithful in all his words, and merciful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall. He lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all we wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them food in due season. You open wide your hands and satisfy the needs of every living creature. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. Once again, if you are able, I invite you to stand for the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said to the Jews, Very truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves Son and shows him the Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing, and he will show him greater works than these, so that he will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here where the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the, to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. You may be seated. <coughs> These scripture readings we just read are comforting scriptures, very comforting indeed. The reading from Isaiah is prophesying about Jesus. 
and about us. <coughs> about all those who struggle. They shall feed along the ways, on all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. Then, because of that, because God wills us to be well, he prophesies, sing for joy, O heavens, and exalt, O earth, break forth, O mountains, into singing, for the Lord has comforted his people, and will have compassion on his suffering ones. When we experience the goodness of God. Heaven rejoices. That's why at the heart of Jesus' ministry was healing of the sick, feeding of the hungry, bringing hope to the hopeless. That's the Lord's desire, that we have life in its fullness. Some may say, then why do we continue to suffer? Why do we continue to see suffering? The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that God desires, from everything I read from the scripture, that God's desire, God's will, is that we may have life in its full. But definitely, there are forces of darkness at work in the world that bring about the suffering. And that's why here, that, that last paragraph, but Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me, my Lord has forgotten me. And that's something we experience ourselves, there are moments that we go through when we feel like, where is God? And here is the word of comfort once again. Can a woman forget her nursing child? Or show no compassion for the child of her womb? And then he says, even these may forget, yet I will not forget. Amen. That's a word for us in times of struggle, in times of suffering, that God has not forgotten us. And indeed the answer is in that first paragraph. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor I have answered you, on a day of salvation I have helped you. Each one of us has their own time, their own moment when everything works together for our good. So while we wait, we continue to hope and pray and wait for our time, our appointed time, our time of favor. There's a Burundian evangelist who has a, a double ministry. He has a ministry of teaching which he does on Mondays through Friday. And then on Saturday, he has a prayer ministry for healing. And many, many people have been healed through listening to him, uh, his broadcast. And he says, I know there are many among you listening to me right now who have been waiting and waiting and doing everything right, everything I tell you to do. Because he usually invites people to pray with him, uh, to, to, if it's a part of your body that is not well to touch it. And many people testify then after, uh, about their healing. And before he prays, he usually broadcasts the testimony. And then he says, and I know that there are many of you who may be saying, I've been doing exactly what you said, and nothing has happened for me yet. And he 
is a way for the time the human keep waiting, keep hoping. And sure enough, there will be people who say, I've been waiting for a whole year, <laughs> and finally my miracle came. Uh, and uh, so that, that, that's really, and throughout the scriptures, the idea of waiting, the theme of waiting, patient for the Lord, it is repeated over and over and over. And perhaps while we wait, one prayer is that we pray for the gift of patience. For the gift of patience. Because it's hard to wait when you are in pain, when you are suffering, when things seem to get worse than better. It is difficult. And yet we know, as we read from this passage, that there is an appointed time for you, for your moment. God has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten me. And that is a word to hold on to, even as you go through trouble. So the psalm, of course, uh, tells us about this God who is telling, who has not forgotten forgotten us, that this Lord is a gracious, gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. That's the God who is trusted. The Lord is loving to everyone, and everyone means everyone, even those who don't believe in him, and his compassion is over all his work meaning over all he has created. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you. For your goodness and kindness to us. For your grace that sustains us even in difficult times. Thank you, Lord, for your word to those who have been waiting and longing for better days. Thank you for reminding us that you have not forgotten us, that there is indeed an appointed time, a time of favor. How we pray that your time of favor, oh God, will be today, will be now. Testing of God, the time of our favor. We thank you, we bless you, we honor you, we glorify you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Amen. With confidence and faith in the God who is loving and kind. Let us name before God those for whom our intercessions are offered this morning. <coughs> Raymond, Linda, Carol, Rob, Ruth, Jack, Lori, and Sandy, Brebeck family, Ryan, Terry, Mariana, Rock, Beverly, Deborah, Janet, all those who are bereaved, all those with COVID-19, Staff and children at our school and at the South Pole of Nursing Ministry. Colin, Louise, Barb, Thomas, Mary Ellen, Floyd, Montana, Wayne, Scott, Burns, Shelby, Sharon, Barbara, Jeanette, Terry, Jen. Yeah, yeah. Amos. 
Amen. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We, we praise, praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that you might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise you and thank, thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise you and thank, thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We, we praise you and thank, thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance, and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord, Lord of life. Mend broken relationships <clears throat> and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear, Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physician, nurses, and all others who minister to suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our life, in our parish, in our community, in our nation, and in our world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. Yes. We have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Hear us and make us whole. Almighty God, giver of life and health, send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them that our weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At this point, I invite you to take a moment of silent prayer as you bring before the Lord those things that concern you the most, those areas of your life, that your body, your spirit, or your mind that need a special touch from the Lord. Precious God, we thank you that you know each one of us. Yes, Lord. And you know the things that bother us the most. Physical, spiritual, emotional, or otherwise. We let them all Lord before you. How we pray that you speak to each of us and bring about healing and hope and restoration. Lord, your will for us is to live life in its fullness. May your will be done even this morning. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You wish to be anointed. You may stand. <coughs> if you are unable to stand, simply let me know that you wish to be anointed.
کمتری به من هم و کلی رمان که این حال رو باز میکنه ما با فرد و با شن و با جهاز Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven and on earth and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make you know that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And Walk in love as Christ loved us and offered himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. <coughs>
so that you don't cut through the universe, so you have unity of this great offer that may become a spiritual field. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, through your goodness you have this wide offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hand, that may become a spiritual dream. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. that here we are all baptized Christians, regardless of age or denomination, are welcome to the Lord's table. And the way we do it here, we uh, offer bread and wine. And uh, there are several options of how you could do that. One is to receive the bread and consume the bread and then wait for the cup to come and sip from the cup. The other way is to receive the bread and hold the bread. And when the cup comes along, you, you dip, you tip gently and take, dip your bread into the wine. Uh, the other way is to say, uh, I don't wish to take of the wine. I just want to receive the bread. In that case, you receive the bread. And when the cup comes around, you fold your arms to indicate that you wish to pass on the cup. We believe all those three ways of taking communion are valid. And uh, so you're welcome uh, to share with us in the blessed sacrament of our Lord. We celebrate this Eucharist in thanksgiving to God for all the blessings of our lives, for his promise that he will not forget us and that there is an appointed time for each one's favor to be manifest, but also in intercession on behalf of those who continue to suffer that God's goodness may sustain them through and through. If you are able, please stand for the Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who was tempted in every way as we are, yet did not sin. By his grace we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with the angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, we have had love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. The night was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And 
when I had given thanks to you, O oh God, he broke it. And gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memory of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit do for your people the body and blood of your son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. 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 Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. The grace of God for the people of God. Protect them. And remember that Christ died for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. the bread of heaven. Amen. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 Blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Christ, the cup of salvation. Blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Blood of 
Christ to come to his salvation. On page seven, let us pray together. Gracious Father, we give you praise, praise and thanks for this holy communion of the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption, and we pray that it may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strengthen our weakness, and allow us to salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may God the Father bless you, God the Son heal you, God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Pray. Thanks be to God. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Have a rest of the week.